Good day everyone! Today, we are going to discuss about the different functions of an art or the different functions of art. Art symbolizes our emotions or art is something that we put into our emotions. So there are certain functions of art that we need to understand in order for us to have a better grasp and understanding of the art pieces, the paintings, the music that we see in our everyday life. What do you think is the message of the artist in this masterpiece? This is a painting of Diego Rivera. He is a Mexican and he is a social activist through art. So what do you think is the message of this painting in his time? So in understanding, in understanding the, the message of an artist, we need to first look into the sociological and historical context of an artist. Why it is made, how it is made, when it is made, and who made this painting. So better grasp and understanding gives us a better view in the environment and in, in the social condition or what is their aim or ideologies they are actually trying to portray. All arts have functions for man. The maker creates things because he has particular need for them. So art is not created out of curiosity. Rather, art is created because it has something or there is something more onto the art. So this, this something more to the art is what we know as the functions of art. So must art communicate? Does art communicate? What is communicate by a church, a vase, and a furniture. So those are some things or art, uh, those are some art pieces which signify something that we need to understand why it is being created, why it is being used. That because that is because they have certain functions. So the for art functions can be classified into a motivated and non-motivated. So for motivated, it is synonymous with the word functional. Examples are the architecture, weaving, and furniture making. So they are functional in a way. The next is non-motivated art. So they are also called non-functional. A good example of non-motivated art is paintings, sculpture, literature, music, and theater arts. So let's first discuss about personal function. Arts are vehicle for the artist, expression of their feelings and ideas. The art also serve as a means of expression for us. The therapeutic value of music cannot be ignored. So work of art make us aware of the other ways of thinking, the feelings, and imagining that have never occurred to us before. So when we are talking about personal function, this is the motivate. This is where the artist had motivated or intrinsic motivated motivation in creating their art pieces. A good example for this one is why do artists create music where in fact sometimes their music is not being appreciated? Is it because of money? Is it because of fame? Eventually, when we are actually talking about personal function, we are looking into the individual cognitive level of the artist, trying to understand what motivates them in creating these art pieces or art works. So more on the personal level, so on the intrinsic level of motivation. Let's now proceed to the social function of art. One cannot conceive of a society without art. For art is closely related to every aspect of social life. So what do you think is the what do you think is the effect or what do you think is the function of art in the society? The social condition in the time that we are created represents the the, the entirely entire truth of the society during those times. Art itself is a reflection of what is being or what is the trend during that time, maybe in historical context, sociological or spiritual context, so social function. So, as a social function, for example, for social function is that paintings or expensive paintings, expensive vase are commonly found in the houses of the of the uh, wealthy families in the past. So therefore, it the art pieces itself creates a symbolism or it signifies that the owner of those paintings are actually wealthy. So sometimes having an art piece during those times or even at the, at this moment is actually a classification 
or it tells about your social status as a person. So that is social function of art. So art performs on a social function when, first, it influences social behavior. It seeks or tends to influence the collective behavior of people. A good example for this one is the use of art in campaign rallies to promote ideologies, uh, poster making. Those are actually a social function of art. It presents the it presents to the society what is wrong with the society or what is good in the society and tries to open up the minds of the people in a society to look into a, into a problem. First, it influences social behavior. So when it influences social behavior, that is a social function of art. Second, second social function of art, it, it displays celebration. It is created to be seen or used primarily in public situation. A good example for this one is the patron, uh, pat yung mga, mga art pieces natin which is religious in nature or sometimes they signify, they signify, they signify certain celebrations uh, about their patron. So it actually moves or influences a group, a social behavior among the people. So it's either a celebration or occasion where art is being used to portray or a symbol of a mass collection of group behavior. One function of sculpture and painting is the commemoration of important personage in society. The stages of national heroes that grace our parks and plazas are commemorative work as are the commissioned paintings of leaders or rulers. Often, these serve to record important historical events or reveal the ide ideals of heroism and leadership that the community would want the young to embrace. So that is actually a social function of art in the historical context. The third is social description. So when we see social dis dis description, it expresses or describes the social or collective aspect of the existence as opposed to individual and personal kind of experiences. One view of art is that it presents the reality of a social condition during those times. It presents the reality that sometimes we do not know because we are not present at the time where the art is created. Next, we'll go to the physical function of art. So tools and containers are objects which function to make our lives physically comfortable. Functional work of art may be classified as either tools or container. So tell whether the following is a tool or a container. A spoon, is that a container or a tool? That is a tool. A car, it is a tool for, uh, for transportation. A building is a container because there is a function, but it is mainly a container. A community, it's a container. A ceramic vase is a container. A chair is also a container. So the difference between uh, tools, and, tools and containers is that if a tool is being used, for example, a, a spoon. So how do you use the spoon? It is to scoop rice or scoop foods in order for us to eat. So therefore, it is not a container, rather a tool. But the uh, but the container, which is the building, has same has also the same function, or it is a, merely a container. For example, the blackboard. When you draw your paintings on the blackboard, the blackboard is the medium or the container. So that is the difference between tool and the container. So the different forms and function. The function of an object is generally determines in the basic form that it takes. A chair is so designed as to allow the seated body to rest comfortably on it. The shapes, sizes, and different parts are harmoniously related to one another and integrated into an object that fulfills that and tells about their particular purpose. We also have architecture. So architecture is determined primarily by its operational function. So what is that building for? Who are who are going to use it? How many are they? The design that the building takes is also adapted to the climate of the region. The architecture must take the physical, psychological, and spiritual needs of the family into account when the when the designer designs the house so the architecture is mainly as an art was created 
for us to create house or to shelter us. So that is the phys physical function of an art. The third one is community, community planning. So more than just a group of buildings, it is a group of individuals and families living in a particular locality because of a common interest and needs. So we are actually talking about the theories of group formation on the secondary level. So when we say secondary, secondary level or the secondary group, we are actually talking about the uh, the neighbors or the people outside the basic unit of the society, which is the family. So the function of art as being created is that it tends to help people become collective in behavior, not only in behavior, but also into their way of living, as stated on our first topic. Community planning involves the efficient organization of buildings, roads, and spaces so that they uh, may rest the physical and aesthetic needs of the community. So community planning takes into consideration the assignment of areas for proper land use. So there is, uh, there is a theory that we need to follow or a structure in order for us to, uh, to create art. For example of art is the planning. Um, residential district so there is a certain amount or space that needs to be occupied and not to be occupied in order to avoid crowding that is the, the theory another industrial and commercial areas those are example for example civic centers uh, civic centers is a community gover that govern itself uh, therefore, it provides a structure where the function of government can be efficiently carried out, which would, in appearance, be symbolic of community, dignity, and pride. A good, a good example for this one is the architecture of the government buildings. As we can see, government buildings are created in a way that they, they actually present an integ integrity or majestic buildings that symbolizes the government of the Philippines. So that is actually a social function of and art. So park plazas and plazas and malls are actually, uh, they can also be classified as a social function of art because it pre provides entertainment for people. The street and roads are also created for social being. The function and beauty. So many things remain the same in shape throughout the years because their functional requirement does not allow for greater variation in their form. Time has proved that their design best enabled them to accomplish their purpose. A good example for this functional and beauty is the rice terraces in Banawe where the entire mountain was actually made into terraces. Actually, it's not for aesthetic beauty, but rather it's for functionalist, uh, function, functionalist type. So what happens in this area is that they created the terraces in order for them to plant, to plant their, uh, their rice. Because it is mountainous, planting is never easy for them. So that's why they modified the mountain itself to create this beautiful scenery that we see today. So, okay, identify. So, there are different functions of arts. Physical function, social function. We also have personal function. We also have the context fun contextual fu uh, function is actually more on the sociological level. So, identify the social function of the following artwork. A painting of children at a play. What do you think? Is it personal, social, or, or physical? A physical, personal, function, uh, functional. Function of art. So what is the function of a painting of children at a play? Uh, it's more on social. Pwede rin siyang personal. Window chimes. Actually, the window chimes is created in order to, in order for the people at the cafes or at the houses to know when there is someone uh, opening the door. So that is a functional, fun uh, that is actually functions of art. Physical function. Sculptures of Malakas and Maganda, it's more in sociological, social siya. Rattan chair, physical function. We blanket, physical function. So tell whether the function of art in the following artwork is personal, physical, or social. Building, it's more on personal. I wrong, it's bu a building is more on physical. Sculpture of a national hero is actually more on the social. Handcrafted bug is more on the physical function. Okay, thank you for listening to the different functions of art. So there are three functions of art, personal, personal function, 
uh, there are three types of R. Uh, fun, uh, there are three types of functions of R: personal, physical, and social. Thank you very much for listening.